All right, guys, what's up? Back. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Welcome back to the channel. We're going to be attempting to put the CRX into... Where are we putting the CRX? Into the motor. So the motor is going into the car today. Brian is going to be cleaning up the engine bay right now. And we are pretty much going to be ready to go for our engine swap. I'm going to be just putting the intake on, finishing up the last little hoses that need to be put on, torquing everything down to spec, and pretty much just we're going to be chaining this thing up to the lift and getting this bad boy into the bay today. Now, this is not really a how-to, but I'll basically give you an overview of what's going to be happening. If you're new to the EF swap chassis, um, there's a few things that you have to do before you can just put the motor in. Again, these didn't come with B-Series in the USA, so you have to have mounts. You have to have a correct shift linkage. This does not just go in right away. You have enough clearance for the headers. That's why I have the innovative traction bar. I have a video on that. Not to how install, but... It's better to have that for the header clearance. guys so I got the intake cleaned up I wanted to just clean out the throttle body a little bit just get all the old uh, oil and residue out of there I also took off the IAC which is very important because sometimes when an IAC sits it can get clogged up and it just so happens that this one sat for a while and got really gunked up so I cleaned it with some brake cleaner and uh, I'm gonna be changing the gasket on this as well the two o-rings basically um this is the new throttle body gasket for the P30, which is basically the B16 and the Type R, and then this is the new gasket from Honda for the IAC. But I think all IACs might be the same. I think you can use single cam, Accord, B series, D series, stuff like that. So it's pretty much interchangeable. Uh, so I cleaned up the intake. I'm just gonna attach it to the to the motor. I got everything sorted out. I got the belt on the alternator. I got all the supports down. I got the oil cooler all tightened up. Hoses are on. Um, so this thing is going to be ready to go pretty soon, so stay tuned. Anything you really want? What's up, everybody? That might be copyright infringement. What? He was saying Wendy's. What? I'm about to eat Wendy's, man. <laughs> Motor is ready to go. A tranny is attached. Intake is on and cleaned. All the miscellaneous hoses for the PCV, the EGR, all that stuff, that is all ready to go. Everything is set up, the alternator belt is on, everything is torqued down. Uh, as of engine bay wise, we didn't do much cleaning, but we're, I'm going to continue a little bit. I got to wire up that motor right now, so we actually got the rear mount on. You know, we had to drop that subframe, but we'll keep, uh, keep that a secret. Anyway, uh, yeah, so, it's, so the rear mount's on. Um, I'm going to wire this up right now. Brian's actually going to go pick up some food, so... We're going to stop and eat real quick because we're starving, but we're trying to just get this banged out real quick. All right, guys, welcome back. So it's been a little while since I updated you guys, but uh, basically we got the motor all together, ready to go. It's on the hoist and uh, we're going to be dropping it in. I Here we go. <laughs> 
Okay, so we put the motor in and we got it mounted and noticed that the myth is real. You do have to bang out the shock tower. So it's not shock tower, it's the frame wrap. Frame. It's the shock tower of the frame. You gotta bang it out with a hammer. Unfortunately, I wanted to think because these came in CRXs in Japan, it's a little weird how you would have to bang it out, but maybe they use a smaller alternator. I'm not sure how that works. Anyway, take, uh, take two. Well guys, got the motor in and mounted, um, there is some unfortunate news, so as we were putting in the shift linkage, um, where you put the linkage over to meet the trans for the gear selector, where you put the bitch pin in, uh, it seems like something bent the gear selector, and uh, I'm not sure because it's not going into reverse and it's having a hard time shifting and it doesn't look straight, so... We're kind of stuck at this point. Even though the car is sitting with a B in it, it's it's uh, having I'm having some issues with the the trans right now. So trying to figure out what we're gonna do. I'm not sure what I what I can really do at this point. Um, might be a while before I can kind of figure out the next step. But uh, gotta figure out what's going on with this tranny. It's just late right now, and we got a I got a big week ahead of me at my job. So we're gonna wrap it up for tonight. But the motor is in. And uh, we will figure out what's going on with the transmission problem in a few days. Hopefully we can source out some issues. But I'm thinking I might have to get a new trans. That's where I'm at. So stay tuned. More to come. All right. I'm back home. It's Monday. I was able to settle down and think about what exactly happened. It was a little nerve-wracking for me because, you know, I'm invested in this and I want everything to work so let me give you guys a little bit of a breakdown I couldn't really explain because I really didn't know myself what was happening but I took a little bit of time before I left the garage I say to really look into what was the issue going on with the car as far as mounting everything mounted up perfect the mounts mounted up the t-bracket mounted up everything the trans mount mounted up so that got me really excited because I was a little worried about that because I did bang out the alternator frame so that, that, that fits, and I'm pretty excited about that because I didn't want to really like smash my frame up too much, but I made enough room so that way there's no rubbing. But anyway, um, yeah, so as far as linkage and transmission, um, I had noticed when I was under the car that the, the, gear, the gear shift was a little bent coming out of the transmission, and I'm thinking to myself, that might be a serious issue, but I don't know if it's enough to really affect or what but I noticed that from when I was putting the linkage on I got the linkage on I got the pin on I got the shifter in or most of the shifter and uh, I went inside and I wanted to see if everything was good with the shifting of course just to see if the clutch felt good if the clutch was if the pressure plate was was working so it was kind of strangely going into gears and it was a little it, didn't feel right and then I noticed I could go into reverse so obviously there was an issue I rearranged the linkage thinking that I had the linkage on the wrong way but it wasn't that uh, even Brian took the linkage off switched a few things we tried a few things it wasn't that and then I showed him that the the gear shift was bent coming out of the trans and he said that is probably the issue there so I ordered the piece actually so I found it online thank God it was uh, $25. I got very lucky. Uh, hopefully nothing else is bent. And uh, I can actually reuse most of what I have. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Uh, I've never had a serious issue other than clutch problems with transmissions. Um, I can do that. 
as far as tranny work, as far as actual rebuilding the trans, uh, this will be probably the first trans that I'm opening up, and if I'm going to open it up, I might as well replace a few things that need to be replacing. Uh, I spoke to a friend, and uh, he told me I might as well change a few things while I'm opening the case, just to, you know, be safe, play it safe. I've, w I've gone this far with the motor. I was thinking that I wasn't even going to get a motor, and now I'm all the way in it with pretty much a, not a built B-series, but a re refreshed B-series. I'm going to open up the tranny the next time I'm there or get the tranny out and possibly bring it back to my house and see what else I can do as far as transmission. So I hope this doesn't put a major setback to the swap. I'm going to try to get this issue figured out hopefully soon within like the next two to three weeks. So I'm going to be opening up the trans, changing a few things, so stay tuned for that. And uh, the next video I'll be posting up probably on the weekend because that's most of the time when I have off. But as always, guys, thank you for stu thank you for tuning in, and I appreciate the likes and the comments, and uh, stay tuned for more videos.